Okay, I have an email message I want to send out to several people and I want to customize or personalize the greeting. The way I can do that is to use an Excel file that will contain the first names in column A and let's say the email address is in column B. If you don't have the first names, you can take the last names, column first names, and go over to data, text to columns, delimited, and just use space and uh, commas to delimit that. And then you can copy the first names from right there and get it into column A. All right, the next thing you wanna do is uh, go into this document right here where you want to send this out and you wanna go over to start mail merge on the mailings tab right here, start mail merge, and go down to step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Make sure it starts on step one down at the bottom and it says what document do you wanna use? Actually, it says what type of document. I wanna send out email messages. Now it says what document do you wanna use? I wanna use this current document. Next, I need to select uh, my uh, list of existing recipients. So sometimes you'll see browse here. I've already selected it so you don't see browse. But what I'm gonna do is uh, select that other thing. Basically, it says select a different list. And I'm gonna go back and just, just select the same document I was working on. Email example file. And that's the one that had uh, three records in, uh, in there on sheet number one. You can see that the records are uh, by column, three records here, name and email address. And then I click OK. The next thing I wanna do is write my email message. And so what I need to do at this point right here is right after the hi, put my cursor right there and say, insert merge field. I wanna put the name like that. And then that's pretty much all I wanna customize. You can certainly do a lot more customization than just that, depending on what you uh, link to in the Excel file. Step number four, you wanna preview the message. And you can see that now it says Danny. And if I arrow through these recipients, you can see the name changes over there. It lets me get a preview of what it's gonna look like when I send it out. I'm gonna complete the mail merge. I'm going to uh, then click on uh, electronic mail. It gives me a chance to you know, change the subject of the message right there. Uh, and this is where you enter the subject. So that's one thing I uh, couldn't figure out initially is you know, how do you get the subject in here? This is the body of the email and that's the subject. And watch very closely when I click OK and you'll see the names change up here. If you have several hundred, it'll cycle through the different names right there as it's going out uh, through Outlook. Here we go, and it's all done. And then maybe you'll hear the email coming into my inbox in Outlook. There it is. Okay, that's how you do it.